Well, here in this locked compound, I don't have a crane to lift this heavy uh, fifth wheel hitch out of the back of the truck. So I'm gonna do this. I've seen a few other people do this before and it makes sense. It's just uh, if you got a real tough fifth wheel, you can hook it up, take the pins out of the corners, lift it right out of the box, the whole thing up and then drive away and leave it dangling there so that's what my plan is here this year seems like a simple idea so there it is so it's, it's in a locked com compound, so um, I don't think anybody's going to back under there and steal it. There it is, dangling away there. Doesn't look very heavy there, but it sure is, I'll tell you. It's got a few extra gizmos to make it heavy heavy duty yep. okay now I just have to where am I gonna put these pins I think I'll put them in the fifth wheel box there where I tuck the power cord in and whatnot they'll be safe in there now I don't quite have the proper gizmo to hook this hitch up so it doesn't turn properly See, it's out of adjustment because this uh, box here is a little bit narrower than most. So you see, it's supposed to turn like that. I'll have to get the proper ones made or make them up myself or something. You see, what it does, it turns this big gear down those other gears, pinion and whatever. And that slides the, the hitch back, so that effectively it sl slides the whole fifth wheel back in the box. So when you're going around the corner, the front of the fifth wheel doesn't hit the, the back of the cab. And um, so I got to send into this. Uh, I don't think they have the hijacker anymore. I think Demco owns the whole thing now. So. They, they'll sell me the part. Either that or I could weld something up or have something in there. So here it's gonna sit for the winter. I, um, you know, put antifreeze in the lines and whatnot. So it's all good.